Okay, this one we have 1 over cosecant x. And if you notice the identity right away, you know this is equal to sine x, right? Because you know cosecant x is the same as 1 over sine x. And 1 over cosecant x will be just sine x. You're done, all right? But I will also show you guys some work for this. Right here, if you would like, you can put down the 1 on top over and for the cosecant x part. I will write this down as 1 over sine x. And we have to know this really well. But you see, we end up with a complex fraction, and this is how we are going to take care of this complex fraction. We have the sine x in the denominator for this little fraction. What we can do is, we are just going to multiply sine x on the bottom, and also do the same on the top. And when we do that, you see this and that will cancel. Altogether, 1 times sine x is just sine x over 1, which it doesn't matter. So this is it, and that's choice A.